routine. Um, I think I got my sleep system issue figured out, but it took a while and um, it's too late now to try to get to the campsite. So I'm gonna spend one more day in town, but I can't not walk. So walking around town and down by the river and I'm just gonna show y'all what has happened to this river. So a week or so ago, this area had really high waters. Everything you see used to be this green, really cool little park where families used to come and picnic and pretty trees and grass. And now it's just nothing but sand and rocks. And if you look, let me see if I can zoom in without dropping my camera in the river. You can see, you just barely see some tires in the trees. I'm not sure if you can actually see it or not. But there's tires up in the trees. There's one in the ground. I'm going to see some here. You can see some tires there. Um, you can see that one's actually wrapped around the tree. Farther on down the river, the tires are actually up in the trees. I wish you could see it, but I don't think I can get zoomed in close enough. But some of the tires are like three or four feet up in the trees. Just kind of hang in there. It looks so weird. But the water was so rough and fast and high that it just washed all these tires down the river and they got stuck up in the trees. And it, this area just got devastated by the floods and the high water. And I guess this was just like a week ago or so, according to the uh, folks at the hostel. This is pretty pretty devastating and I've been here before this is all green and pretty the last time I was here if the tires weren't there it might even still be pretty there's so much trash it's gonna take a while for this to recover <laughs> day 14 um, heading out today I'm gonna be it's a nice day but it's gonna be all up today so I don't know how much video I'll be able to have I can't video on the ups or the downs because I have to concentrate where I'm putting my feet I lost my sit pad so now my butt's gonna be cold all night I'm real thrilled about that <laughs> but I did get my sleep system worked out tested it a little last night seems like it's gonna work we'll find out all right and up I go, up this, yet another, I think I got five mountains in a row, all up, and we'll see you along the way. hate these parts that's it's hard to tell in the picture but that's pretty much straight freaking down and the rocks are wet and I have a full pack oh, y'all pray for me to get down this thing without killing myself I just wish that the video would be 
where you could appreciate just how freaking steep that is. I'm about halfway down. And I pretty much just went down sliding on my ass because there was no stepping down. It was interesting, but I made it and I'm alive. I have no idea what kind of tree this is, but these flowers smell so pretty. I'll have to look it up and find out. They are pretty and they just smell really good.
Well, dang if this ain't some unexpectedly rocky dang section. Look at that. Walk all the way up there. I know that doesn't look very far, but it is. And it's mostly up. And it's all freaking rocks. You're lucky it didn't keep <sighs> Hey y'all. Day 15. I stayed at the shelter last night and the sleep system I got worked so good. I stayed warm all night. I'm so happy with it. Um, it probably got down to about 28 or 29 and I was really warm. I could have um, actually taken some stuff like I sleep, I sleep with my puffy on to keep warm. I probably could have taken my puffy off and still been warm. It was yeah, probably best night's sleep I've had since I've been out here. It was really great. And if I stay in my tent, I'll be even warmer. So I think it's going to work out just fine. Um, got more up all day today. Um, I stayed with a guy named Barber. He was really cool. Um... We stayed up too late, way past hiker midnight, just talking about life and hiking, and it was awesome. Really great, um, obviously intelligent, articulate person, which is nice. Some of the people out here aren't quite as intelligent. Um, should have filmed last night, but I was too happy having good conversation. Um, one of the things I do want to talk about is... Sorry, I'm out of breath. I'm going uphill a little bit. Um, night before last, I stayed at the hostel. And um, went to dinner with some people through hikers. We all typically, when we are in town, we all typically kind of just eat together. And uh, they were all younger and fitter and been on the trail longer than me and so of course they're all pushing 25 30 miles a day and that's just not me that will never be me um but it was like they were making a competition out of it one of the reasons that will never be me is because this isn't a competition for me i want to go slower i want to stop every 10 paces and look around me and see the little tiny flowers that I'm taking pictures of and the, get close-ups of bugs and look around and see how beautiful the forest is. And I don't know, I can't really see how pretty it is here right now, but it's beautiful here. Even when it's not some big sweeping view, it's beautiful here. And I don't know how they can savor that, enjoy it when they're going that fast. Um, one day last week I was, came across a group and the last guy in the group, he was kind of a big guy, um, younger than me, but not super young. And I thought, I bet I could hike as fast as he is. And so I actually did try to kind of keep up with him a little bit and he fell twice. And I thought, that's why I don't hike fast. Cause if I try to hike fast, I'm going to end up getting hurt. I'm going to fall or I'm going to miss some little flower I would have loved to take a picture of. Or I'm going to miss the beauty that's all around me that I want to... That's what I'm out here for. Enjoy this. and the... Yeah, I want to hike. I want to get to Katahdin. But I also will never do this again. I want to enjoy every single moment. And these people that hike so fast, you know, that's good for them. I'm happy. If they're happy, then that's fine. But it's kind of sad that they kind of look down on me because I don't hike as fast as they do. Well, I'm twice your size and twice your age. And you've been hiking twice as long as I have because I started 300 miles north. So I just, 
I wish they would just not make a competition out of it. You know, the last one to Katahdin wins is what they say out here. So, even though I'm not stopping at Katahdin, right now that's the, the goal for everyone out here. I don't know. That's just my little rant. They were nice. They just, uh, I don't know, made me a little sad that they were all competing about how many miles they can do in a day and that's just not me and it will never be me and I have no desire to hike 30 miles in one day or necessarily even 20 miles in one day I don't want to get hurt and I don't want to miss stuff and that's okay because it's my hike and I'm having the time of my life is called beauty spot and it is certainly a beautiful spot I'm glad I'm up here on a pretty day not tomorrow when it's supposed to be nasty and thunderstorming up here and I think that's where I'm gonna be tomorrow up there in those pine trees that looks like a fun journey to walk all the way over there woohoo but this place this place is beautiful. Whew. This is Tanner. Say hi, Tanner. Hi. <laughs> and he saved me from the trail. So we're stopping at McDonald's and then um, we're going to get out of the thunderstorms. <laughs> <laughs> Hello.
Hey y'all, it's day 16. I am um, not feeling so hot today. Don't feel like hiking. It's gonna be a rainy, yucky day. Thunderstorms later. I'm trying to make my way to the shelter. Um, so that I'm at the shelter when the thunderstorms start, but I don't know if I'll get there in time. We'll see. Um, it's pretty far. I hope I get there and don't have to go through a thunderstorm in my tent. That would be interesting. Um, not supposed to be as bad as it was predicted to be. Um, we'll see how today goes. I don't think there'll be many views. It's all going to be rainy and overcast and just a yucky day and I'm not feeling so great. So just one of those days. But I did see a dog today, so no quitting on a day you see a dog. I am cold and I am soaked from the rain and I hate this freaking mountain and I can't believe I'm only halfway up and I just spent the last 10 minutes sitting on the log crying because because I'm so tired I want this to be over with I keep losing my balance I'm so tired if there was a campsite nearby that had water I would stop I don't think I'll make it to the shelter anyway because it's like miles and miles away and I'm already so tired this is by far the hardest day I've had. It is so hard today. Why does a hard day have to be the wet and cold day? And I hate this mountain. I would never willingly climb this mountain again for the rest of my entire freaking life. I'm so high and it's so cold that there's still patches of snow up here. <sighs> Can't wait to get off this damn mountain. Whew, I'm not a happy camper today, but I will be happy tomorrow when this is all over. Well, not all over, but when today's over. This is a memorial to some, uh, looks like he was probably 22 year old guy. Says it was made in his memory. A decorated Christmas tree on top of this beast of a mountain. So, in reverence, here you go, Max. Oh, hey y'all, day 17. I had resigned to quit this morning. Uh, t yesterday was miserable. It was so windy last night that I set my hiking clothes out to kind of air out and dry out, maybe dry out. And it was so windy that when I woke up, all my clothes were just all over the campsite, been out in the rain all night long, like dripping ring water out of them, drip, wet. So today I'm hiking in my sleeping clothes, which is my only dry clothes, but I can't hiking those wet clothes they were just too wet if they were damp I would wear them but these were like truly like out of the washer wet and I can't hike in that so <sighs> yet again I'm gonna have no choice but to go to like the next road and go into town and just just to dry my clothes I'm not gonna stay in town I'm just gonna go in to get my clothes dry and head back head back out um I did get warm. I did sleep warm last night, though. Um, there were some hikers that I knew in the shelter, and I did make it all the way to the shelter, thanks to a good friend who kind of talked me through it over the phone. Uh, appreciate for that, Erin. Um, I very much appreciate your help and support yesterday, Erin. I don't know what I would have done without it yesterday. Um... So we'll see how today goes. I'm starting to think I'm more made to be a section hiker than a through hiker, but I'm not ready to quit yet. I was ready yesterday, but I'm not ready today. 
It's not a vista, but even the foggy, rainy forest is beautiful in its own way. I love it. So pretty. <laughs> Hey y'all, day 18. I was gonna quit yesterday. <laughs> um, but I talked to some Drew Hiker Sovereign and uh, Cold Soak and CC and Gadget. And well, CC and Gadget are not through hikers, but they have their hikers. Um, they gave me lots of encouragement and tips and a little help. And so I'm back on the trail today. Day 18, the last two days have been absolutely miserable. I got completely soaked both days. Uh, totally destroyed my rain pants. So I'm either going to have to fix them or get some... Sorry, I'm uphill. I'm either have to fix them or get some new ones. Um, but I'm hiking again today. Um, and at least for the next few days, it's supposed to be nice. Hopefully I'm not miserable again today. Can't be having these miserable days. I'm out here to have fun, not be miserable. And if I'm gonna be miserable all the time, there's no point. But I am hiking again today, even though it's cold yet again. Um, but I got dried out and I got warm and I'm back. <clears throat> and I've been out here for 18 days. So let's see how today goes. tell whether or not you can see it or not but in the top there's the pine trees that's what that darker stuff is at the top where all those pine trees pine trees are up on they're actually spruce trees um but where all those trees are at the very top that's uh Unica mountain and that's where i was yesterday Ooh, that's far away yeah way way over there <laughs> way at the very top and it's so beautiful inside that that dense spruce forest up there um but it's hard to believe i was there yesterday who it looks so far away and it felt far away too there's not much to see up here but let me tell you something. The top of this mountain that I just climbed up, this mountain's called Iron Mountain. And it doesn't take an Iron Man to climb an Iron Mountain because this fat girl with her short little legs just climbed it. 
Just remember, big girls hike too. So while I'm on this relatively easy part of the trail, of course I say that and I, then I gotta step over 17 routes. Um, <laughs> um, there's two things I kind of wanted to talk about. Um, one was I got to weigh myself this morning and in 18 days I've lost 10 pounds. Um, a lot of the hikers are telling me that the reason I get so tired is I'm not eating enough, I'm not taking enough calories. I'm not purposely trying to lose weight. That's not what I'm out here for. Um, and I'm not purposely trying to not eat. I just feel like I'm too tired and I have no, pretty much no appetite all day long from morning till night. In my fact, this morning I had to like almost force myself to eat a English muffin. <laughs> um, but I am trying to eat more often during the day to try to keep my energy level more consistent. Um, but anyway, 18 or 10 pounds in 18 days, that's not so bad. Um, and on a, the second note, um, I had a conversation with a gentleman yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry, day before yesterday. Um, he was a section hiker, not a through hiker. And um, we were talking. He seemed like a real nice guy at first. And then a switch flipped. And he informed me that me out here hiking, particularly hiking alone, was very irresponsible because if something happened to me, it would endanger the lives of my rescuers because I'm too big to safely get off the mountain. So that was an interesting conversation. Um, I told him that I'm sorry that he felt that way, but it wasn't going to keep me from hiking. And um, I said, there are... Um, guys, you know, big tall guys out here that may not look as big as I am, but I bet you they weigh as much as I do. And nobody would say that they were irresponsible for being out here hiking alone. But anyway, um, I thought that was an interesting thing. Um, when I told him I didn't agree with him, he said, well, good luck on your hike. And he walked off. Um, I didn't really know how else to respond to that. Um, if I thought it was irresponsible for me to be out here, I wouldn't be out here. Oh. So, anyway, I'm sorry I'm muffin and buffin', but now I'm going uphill. Not easy anymore. Um, just a couple things to kind of say. Whatever. Hey y'all, day 19. As you can see, it is a beautiful blue sky today. Not a cloud in the sky that I can see. And I am heading out after spending the night at uh, Greasy Creek. And I stayed there with Nate and Clay and Papa John. And we had a blast. We, um, Cece, the caretaker at Greasy Creek, she, uh, she had the Appalachian Trail game, and we played that, and it was so much fun. And, uh, 
I lost both times. Tied the second time, but then I lost in the lightning round. <laughs> um, but it's a beautiful day to hike, and I had a great day hiking yesterday. Should be good for the next day or two, and then it's going to get really cold. And then it's going to rain, and then we may get snow. So that ought to be fun. We'll see how I deal with that. But onward I go. Northward bound. <music> This here is Turkish and Turkish just gave me my trail name, which is Shutterbug. And why am I Shutterbug? Well, because uh, apparently you like to take a lot of photos and I didn't even know they were uh, bugs. So <laughs> obviously it was meant to be. Thank you for my trail name. My pleasure.